The Saints are getting ready to play their final preseason game. Joined now by Saints legend Mark Ingram, who has now joined us on the TV side of things, at least for now. How you doing, Mark? I'm doing great. I'm blessed. Good to be back home. You know what I mean? So I appreciate the love. It's great to be back home always. I'm hearing something special is happening in pregame. We won't give I, it away just yeah, yet. I heard, I heard they got something <laughs> lined up, so we'll see. What has it been like just to be back in for a guy who is, obviously this is way back in the beginning of your career, who knows what it's like cut down days right around the corner for some of these rookies who are about to hit the field or even some of the undrafted guys some of the two three year guys who are looking to make a spot what is kind of going through their mind right now as they get ready for this game i mean a lot of them are anxious uh, they just want to go out there perform do their best a lot of them have put together solid camps and solid cases for themselves to be able to make this team but the most important part is to go out here and put on a great performance because there's 31 other teams watching this tape as well so if if you're not fortunate enough to make this team you want to have good tape and good energy and a good rapport within the organization where another team will pick you up. You mentioned too like putting together a good camp but really if a guy breaks out in a preseason game is that really make a push to make the 53-man roster and kind of make the Saints front office kind of scratch their head about maybe we do need to look at this yeah. guy? Yeah if somebody hasn't kind of haven't had the opportunities or the reps and you know throughout camp to really get a great you know a uh, great feel for what he can do. Well, if he comes out here, he makes yeah. big plays. When the lights are on and on the big stage, you're like, okay, this guy might have something about him. We need to take another look. Maybe he can, can he play special teams? Right. Can he do something to, you know, make himself uh, valuable to the roster? So always looking for playmakers, always. We're going to be putting out our 53-man roster projection soon. And one of the guys that's on my roster to make the team is Ellis Merriweather. And from what I've seen from him in camp, he's always trying to pick Alvin Kamara's brain. Mm -hmm. How much can he learn from a guy like that? You know him very well. I mean, you can learn a substantial amount from him, especially when you're a young player. I think the key is being a sponge, p p picking up knowledge, picking up tips from not only Alvin, but all the veterans who have been there and done it at a high level and are still doing it at a high level. You just got to be a sponge. You got to learn. You got to grow, get advice, and kind of develop your own personality, your own way to train, your own way to recover. And um, But learning from Alvin, there's no better thing to be able to learn from Alvin. I mean, one of the best backs in the game. He's a legend himself. So if you're learning from Alvin, you're learning from a great person. Ellis Merriweather looking to make the roster. There is a huge competition at kicker as well as defensive back. Can Smoke Monday make the roster? Lonnie Johnson, Jonathan Abram, all guys looking to make this 53-man roster. And then another guy that's been making a late push in camp is wide receiver Shaq Davis. He is expected to be out on the field for this final preseason game. We'll see if he can make a final push. We will bring you all post-game coverage. But, Mark, before we let you out of here, What's it like to be back, and what do you hope to uh, kind of enjoy out of being in New Orleans in the Dome, now on the sidelines, getting to see this team? Man, I just want to feel the energy, man. <laughs> you know, I want to feel the energy. I want to feel the love. Love seeing the black and gold go ball, score a lot of touchdowns, hearing our music, <laughs> dancing, you know, black and gold always, always and forever, man. So, who that nation always and forever. Just love being here with my family. Thank you so much, Mark. Yep. And that's our game day coverage presented by Matt Bowers Auto Group.